the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our good night message on this Tuesday, the 27th of April 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the gospel passage of today, entitled Hearing the Voice of a Shepherd. Today we read from John chapter 10 verse 22 to 30. It is within the context of Jesus speaking about the sheep and the shepherd. He is at the feast of the dedication and they are looking for him. They want to hear him speak. We are told it was winter, it was cold, and being cold, definitely people wanted something to warm them up. And there is nothing that can warm you up if not the word that comes from the mouth of God. And so he spoke, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Jesus used the allegory of sheep and the shepherd. The sheep, as we know, are essentially dumb animals that do not learn well and are extremely difficult to train. They do not have good eyesight, nor do they hear well. They are very slow animals who cannot escape predators. They have no cover-up and no weapons for defense such as nails, sharp hooves, or compelling jaws. Sheep have a natural tendency to stroll off and get lost. When sheep go astray, they are in great danger of being attacked even killing themselves by drowning or falling off cliffs. Moreover, sheep are easily frightened and become easily confused. In fact, they have been known to plunge blindly off a cliff following one after another. Shepherds in Bible times faced incredible dangers in caring for their sheep, putting their own lives at risk by battling wild animals such as wolves and lions who threatened the herd. David was just such a shepherd. We read this in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 35. In order to be good shepherds, they had to be willing to lay down their lives for the sheep. Jesus is a shepherd and we are his sheep that are meant to listen to his voice. Listen to him as he speaks to us. The only way we can train ourselves to listening to the voice of a shepherd is spending time with our shepherd, Jesus Christ. Spending time in God's presence is demanding because the flesh hates it. There are social media, cable TV shows, and world news coupled with demanding family and business issues. There is not much time left except Sundays when we go to church, spend one hour, sing nice songs, dance for God, and then come away. 
now it's even more difficult with COVID-19. We can't even spend that hour in the house of God. 45 minutes for some, an hour is way too long. And we can't wait. If you are going to hear God's voice, then you will need to train yourself to spend time in His presence alone. You will need to wake up to read the Bible, meditate, pray in the Spirit, and sometimes just stay quiet in His presence. It is only through such consistent practice of fellowship that your heart will begin to understand when the Lord is speaking to you and when your mind, intellect, and the evil one are playing games with you. Every morning, I rise 30 minutes before the Mass to go into the chapel to have a moment of meditation. That meditation is listening to the voice of God where I'm just quiet. And as voices keep coming in my head, I try to select where God is speaking to me. And that keeps me relaxed in the midst of all that I have to attend to during the course of the day. It will do the same to you. It will do the same in your life when you learn to place everything into his hands as you listen to him, as you have those quiet moments. And mind you, those quiet moments are also very healing. For those of you who struggle with pressure, high blood pressure, you find your pressure levels going down, the blood pressure levels going down. Why? because of those moments that you just keep quiet. Stay quiet and listen to God speaking to you. He will surely speak. As we conclude tonight's good night message, we'd like to remember in a special way two of our West African countries that today celebrated Independence Day. We remember Togo, 61 years of independence today and Sierra Leone 60 years of independence praying for God's protection upon these two countries and that the leaders may continue being good shepherds for the people they lead glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen good night as a dreams same to you father Or a 